continuing on a little bit with quadrilaterals, but also incorporating a little on triangles as well, is the discussion of perimeter and area. So perimeter is easy to calculate. You just add up the sides, add up the lengths of the sides, and you get the perimeter. What's usually hard about perimeter problems is you know finding the sides you need. So for example, you might get a problem like this. You got a square with a diagonal of four, and or sorry, four rat two, and they want to know what is the perimeter. Well, we need the sides. So we need some way of figuring this out. There's a lot of ways to do it one way and the quick kind of SAT way is to see that, again, this is a 45, 45, 90 triangle, which means the legs are each four. And since it's a square, all the legs, all the sides are the same. So now we know that the sides are four each. So four times four or four plus four plus four plus four is equal to 16, right? So what can make a perimeter question hard is finding the sides you need, whatever they might be. But once you do that, you just add them up and you're done. Let's talk about area. Now, the formulas will be at the front of each math section, so you don't necessarily have to memorize them. But I do recommend um, you're having them pretty much at hand because the more time you spend flipping back and forth looking up formulas, it just takes up time. So the better you know these, um, the more quickly and more accurately you'll work on the test. So for a triangle, let's imagine we've got a triangle like this. The area of this guy is one half base times height. Now the base is basically you know, the bottom part. You can make anything the base here. You know, this could be the base or this, but usually it's just the one oriented to the bottom. The height though, this is the trick, the height is the perpendicular segment or the perpendicular altitude, also known as an altitude, drawn to that base forming a right angle with that base. So if I needed to get the area of this triangle, I would need to get this measure somehow. If I was given this side and this side and this side, that's not enough. I need to have this and then you use the base with it. So that's just one little trick when it comes to triangles. Now if you have a right triangle, you already have, and you have the sides A, B, and C, you already have the height, right? This is the perpendicular altitude, so that's no problem. If you have an obtuse triangle, so one with an angle greater than 180, the altitude is actually drawn outside of the triangle, so you would have to find the measure of that segment and then multiply it by that base down there. So just keep that in mind that you need to find those specific things. For rectangles, the area is pretty simple. It's length times width. Right? So the trick might be getting those lengths and widths in the first place. And for a square, again, it's equally as straightforward. It's just equal to side squared, right? Just side times side, pretty much just length times width. It just happens to be that length and width are equal. For parallelogram, the equation is also very similar with a one little wrinkle. For parallelogram, the area is base times height. Now again, the base would be, say, this base right here. You could pick any, but usually the one oriented out of the bottom. And just like the triangle, you need to find out the altitude of this thing. You can't just pick the other side and multiply them together. You need to find this altitude and through every what way you can, and then make that calculation. So very similar to a triangle in that way. Now, the last quadrilateral, which I didn't cover in the last video because it just doesn't come up much, is, but I do want to mention here, is the trapezoid. And you don't, again, see these very often, but let's say you were given a trapezoid. A trapezoid is a, basically a shape that doesn't have four. A quadrilateral doesn't have four parallel sides. It might have two, but uh, it doesn't have four. So what do we do about a trapezoid if we needed to get the area of this? There's a formula for it, and I'll give it to you. This is not at the front of each section. So if you know it already, that's great. But if you don't, don't really worry about it. It's one half times the added bases. The bases would be, here would be base one, and here's base two times the height, which again is the altitude, you gotta figure that out. So that's the formula, but the easy way to do this, if you're ever presented with this on the SAT, is just cut this into shapes. So cut it into this triangle, find its area, cut it into this triangle, find its area. Usually it's gonna be the same one, so you can just double the triangle's area once you find it. And then you find the area of this quadrilateral and add them all up, which is actually, incidentally, where the formula comes from. But if you're ever given a weird shape like that, or any weird shape in general, and I talk about this a lot in SAT Math Tactics, if you're given a weird shape, you need to get the perimeter, perimeter or the area of that shape. The best thing to do is cut it into shapes you're familiar with that you do know how to find the area of, and then add them all up once you've found the area of each piece.